Now these guys will bite. what I consider a main road. Oh, another snake. Let's see if he'll let us say hello. This is a gopher snake. You can tell by the coloration and by the, uh, the pointy head instead of a uh, arrowhead shaped head. He doesn't have puffy cheeks. He also has a round pupil. This is maybe a three and a half footer, something like that. He's cautious of me. Now these guys will bite, but they don't always. So here's one way to catch them. If you tail them, then they have a harder time biting you. Gives you a little time to uh, make friends. Not really worried about getting bit all that much by this guy because he's non-venomous, but it wouldn't feel good if he got me on the hand or on the wrist here. It wouldn't be great. Hello, Mr. Gopher Snake. I really love animals, I even love plants, and uh, just because I ride a motorcycle doesn't mean I'm all about tearing up the countryside. I actually am uh, <laughs> very, very conservative in my political views, and in my environmental views, I feel like most hunters do, I have a lot of respect for nature, for the animals that we see in it. Some people might say, if you really respected that snake, then why would you bother him? Why would you pick him up? Well, mostly so that I can share my love of animals with anybody else that watches this. I'm really uh, in awe of snakes especially, but all animals, whether it's a squirrel or a rat or rabbits or deer or whatever it is, they all have a part to play and uh, they all have a beauty in their own way. This guy has a hole right there. Yep, in he goes. Awesome. Awesome, that was great. I feel lucky every time I get to interact with nature on a personal level like that. And for me, that's really what the motorcycle is all about. It's not about coming out and tearing up the countryside. It's about getting out into the countryside and enjoying it, being able to see the sights and really experience it. And I've had four wheel drive vehicles, cars and trucks and stuff, and I enjoy those as well. But there's a level of connection that you feel when you're riding a motorcycle because you can smell it, you can feel it. You, If it's hot outside, you're hot. If it's cold outside, you're cold, you know? It, uh, you can feel the, the changes in the air when you go through a dip. Somebody over here doing a little target shooting. Uh, little gopher snake, that made my day. 